What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. Happy Saturday. Switch days. I had some projects and things I was working on. So uh, your Friday reading, which is now today, is going to be your Sagittarius, Cap, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Gemini, Cancer. Right. So let me shuffle these cards up here real quick. We'll get into your message. I hope y'all doing well this fine Saturday afternoon. Enjoying yourself, right? Yeah. So I have a confession. Okay. I went to the store. Seven Eleven. All right. And uh, it's not that I'm impulsive, but I I just like some of the like food they got. Right. Like the chicken wings out here. They're the bomb. All right. So I grabbed those, a couple other things, right? So I'm standing in line, and then I look on the floor, and there's like the grease from the chicken, because these are the hot wings, you know? And it's all over the floor. And then I look, and then it's all over my sock. And then I look, it's all over my leg. I look, it's all over my shorts. I couldn't deal with it. But hey, you know, sometimes uh, those things kind of happen, right? So you just gotta roll with the punches, my friend. Roll with the punches. So obviously I had to pre-treat some of my clothes. <laughs> The ad lib is done. Let's get into it. Okay, so obviously you see me shuffling two decks. I'm doing that because it represents your duality. I lay two cards down in the beginning. That's your duality. Lay more cards out for your story. And then at the end, I'll lay two more cards down for your verdict. Okay. Is that a cheat? Let me see that. Oh, that was face up. Okay. So basically, that's that. Okay. I'm not taking those because I didn't properly shuffle. So I want to give a shout out to my subscribers and my members. You guys are fantastic. Members, sorry, you guys, you, you missed the uh, the little Zoom meeting I had live for us because I got nobody to email me. So we'll try again another time, okay? Right, because that's one of the perks that you get with your membership, right? All right, so Gilded Tarot Royale with your message and your first card is now my Sagittarius Capricorns the Queen of Wands I'm mean, Queen of Swords I keep switching decks so you know I look quick and it's like oh okay you see the wand but it looks red anyways Queen of Swords hmm Queen of Swords is kind of rough. She can be, right? But she's fair and generous, and she's very direct with the conversation. She will listen to what you gotta say, but cut all the nonsense out, okay? So I think that you might be having uh, some kind of conversation, conversations about, you know, eliminating any kind of uh, foolishness. You know, like getting directly to the point. All right. Or you could be cutting some off. Let's see. Let's just find out here, huh? High priestess, right? Now you're trusting your intuition, right? This is definitely a higher level vibration that you're in, right, at the present moment. So now with the Queen of Swords, it's definitely your um, trusting your intuition um, about the things that you speak of, right? It's not foolishness it's just straight logic because the swords deal with your um your you know your logic and your communication right uh, let's dig this out a little bit and see what really is going on here I'll get a little bit more clarity here on this high priestess which is a major arcana so maybe you have to trust your intuition Let's go. Let's just get to the story. Oh, my God. Okay, four of pentacles, right? So you're definitely uh, talking about stability, right? You're trusting your intuition that you know what you want is what you're talking about. Okay, so it has to do with stability, right? This is the four and then the pentacles. Mm -hmm. Right, ooh. Okay, that's good. That's kind of good direct communication about that stuff, right? Stability could be home life, could be job, could be you know, your money, family life, friends, coworkers, family, things like that, right? Because okay. that all stuff makes us stable. Ooh. 
Seven of Swords. I kind of feel that you're carrying a lot on your shoulders, right? You're taking on too much. Yeah, taking on too much. Because look at, he's looking back at those two swords, has the five in his hand. So you're trying to get those other two, which really, if you're looking at those two swords in the ground, that definitely would symbolize the two of swords making a choice. So it's kind of like you are trusting your intuition to get a little more stable and wanting the things that you want because you already got them in your hand and the Queen of Swords knows what she wants. Now it's like, the, it's like a decision time, okay? Interesting on that. Let's pick it up a little bit here. Let's keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. See what this is gonna be about. Ten of Pentacles, right? So the choice is definitely moving in the direction because this Seven of Swords guy is looking at this treasure box, the Ten of Pentacles. So that could represent family, um, the ultimate stability, which means everything in your life is placed just comfortably enough for you to manage. And then a little bit, right? And this is all what you're trying to hold on to and what you want. That's why you're having this communication. Ooh, I like it. Corn with you. My puppy dog. <laughs> okay, so Ten of Pentacles. That's really good. I like that. There's your victory. You definitely want victory and success with this, but also you could be hearing some great news. And because that uh, six of sword, uh, six, uh, six of wands is right next to the Queen of Swords, it's like that's what making me feel. That's like the great news coming in because swords is your mind and your communication. Okay. So now that we got that, let's move on. Lemon water. I love it. Okay, <laughs> let's keep moving. Here we go. Next card, please. It's gonna be this. Ooh, temperance. So, whatever news is coming into you that has to do with your stability, uh, probably your finances, um, some kind of family life that you're trying to, you know, hold on to and, and, and gather up. And in this kind of way of communicating this, it brings in peace and harmony and balance. That's the good news. Well, it brings you this, okay? Don't know exactly what the news is yet, but we kind of get an idea here. All right. All right. I can't believe I drip grease all over the place and I'm dropping cards left and right. What are you going back to the old way stuff? Ah. All right. I'll take these. <laughs> this looks beautiful, but guess what? I can't take them all. You know why? Because we're doing one for one. So, I'll take the ones on the bottom, these face up, which is really looking good. Can't have those. All right, let's see what this is. So, I mean, somebody, I feel that you get some kind of victory knowing that there's some kind of peace and harmony with the person that's definitely very single, you know, very creative, abundant, uh, got a lot of stuff going on for him, right? Uh, one more from the Ten of Pentacles. So this is like the key to unlocking this treasure box is this one person, okay? Wow. Uh, all right. Yeah, so there's a person that you definitely uh, feel the vibe of knowing with your intuition that this person brings will bring balance to you, right? And they're definitely single, okay? 
and this is all the direction you're moving into because you probably see this person is stable, abundant, and you could grow with this person. You want to hold on to this person, right? Being careful not to take on too much, like in your mind, like overthinking things because you could definitely go there from the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords, which would be uh, overthinking mental in prison. That's why you're trusting your intuition to speak directly exactly what you want and cut out all the crap. Okay. No nonsense kind of thing, right? Here it is, Page Cups. Yep. So there is going to be an offering, right, of emotions, because your cups are emotions, right? Right. So it's like an offer of love, right? I mean, there's nothing to be sorry about here, so that definition don't fit. So it has to be uh, based off of intuition, right? All right. So this person that's single that you want to have victory with because they bring you balance and peace and harmony um, definitely is making an offer of love, right? This person definitely has a lot of feelings for you. Definitely love you tremendously, a whole bunches, right? And they're very stable in their emotions. They're the king of their emotions because cups, like you said, is your emotions. King, uh, I think that's definition is pretty clear. But stable foundation emotionally. A lot of love to give knows their self-worth there it is so even though in the beginning or however that might fit for you this person was offering a little bit now it's like full-blown okay hmm interesting my friends very interesting let's keep going oh snap higher level commitment right here my friends that is definitely the higher fit. oh what am i seeing what am i seeing i'm gonna tell you higher fit. that is the equivalent of the emperor high priestess that is the equivalent of the empress oh are we dealing with twin flames here with the balance card could be that's like divine temperance angel Ooh, let's go Let's dig this out a little bit. Yeah. Hey, if you're liking this so far, hit that like button. You know what? Maybe you throw up a super thanks so everybody knows that, uh, hey, a fantastic reading. Because it is. Bam. There it is. Brand new passion. This, I mean, this is like, what? Definitely success. Because you're holding that wand in the six of wands. This is what you want, that passion, that fire, that mojo, that drive, that long-term commitment, that opportunity to have, you know, possibly marriage and all that. And this is like great because you're picking a person that's all about that. Wow, I like this. Yeah. Mm. We'll see what that is. Mm. Giddy up time. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Mm, told you this is burning passion. You want to get to this person like lickety split, like a grease fire. <laughs> Think about how fast you got to put that shit out, right? Do it right because you can't just throw water in that shit. <laughs> right? Because oil and water don't mix. In case y'all youngins didn't know that, oil and water don't mix. So if you got a grease fire, throw the lid on it. That's it. Puts it right out. But you are burning hot. You want to take right off. Definitely hot and heavy, passionate romance. Because you and this person want the same things, which is a higher level commitment. Like I said, possible marriage, things like that. Okay, let's go. Last card of the story. There's your transformation and death card. Boom, right there. So something's about to transform with this because you are taking action to what? Transform something, right, in your life which is moving towards this person. This is what's all being transformed. Okay, let's clean it up. Let's get to the outcome, the verdict, the grand finale, the home run, the slam dunk, the two-point conversion, right? <laughs> all right.
Okay, so any burdens that you were carrying about moving towards this person and what maybe they're all about and what you're about in comparison to the two to see if they were equal and balanced, um, any kind of possible on the verge of overthinking that is finito, done, right? Putting all that behind you, nine of wands. You're still holding that wand, which is this one, which is the wand of the victory. <sighs> which kind of represents the sword of the uh, queen because I originally said queen of wands. Interesting, right? Hmm, funny how things come out like that inadvertently, right? Oh, slow it down. All right, this is definitely the Bachelor Rose time. So grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, hit the like, hit the super thanks, maybe even become a member and a subscriber. Appreciate that. Peace. Peace. Any of your burdens, troubles, past issues are now laid to rest because you are definitely having a wicked opportunity for passion, romance, marriage, engagement to a person who's very loving, giving, and wants to bring you balance in your life. And it's a damn treasure chest of goodies that this person's bringing. And yourself. That's why your hot pants ready to go to change your situation, to put any kind of not moving forward behind you and then having the peace in your mind. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Yay. That has been your double card reading, my friend. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys hit up this video, right? So now when you go out in the world, tell everybody about my channel. Go to Subway. Yeah, you get a sandwich, tell them all about my channel. You go to the grocery store, tell the baggage lady, you know. Tell them all about the good stuff, right? Promote the channel, tell your friends, and uh, have them subscribe too, right? The more the merrier. And um, hey, enjoy the rest of your weekend, my friends. You know why? Because it's Saturday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. All right, my friends. Be blessed, be brave, and be well. Peace and pray with you, and I'll see you again.